My name is Adam Chandler and this is Rice for Britain. Rice for Britain is my campaign to introduce a short grain rice dish as a new national dish for Britain. Um, so it's my British version of a paella or risotto <coughs> and I want to take it to the nation because I believe it provides a very healthy family meal that absolutely anyone can cook. So today we're doing a blueberry risotto style rice dish. This is a very simple dish, very few ingredients, very easy to cook. Um, a great midweek supper, it's inexpensive and it's also a very colourful and beautiful dinner party dish as well. Um, and blueberries of course are a bit of a, a superfood, um, a very healthy food for you to eat. So we have blueberries, short grain rice, so it can be risotto rice, paella rice, whatever, uh, an onion, white wine, parmesan, cream and some stock, vegetable stock. I've actually got chicken stock to be honest because I had actually run out of vegetable stock but I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, so let's get cooking. So literally the only piece of chopping I've had to do for this meal is to peel and chop an onion. So that goes into a pan full of onion and olive oil full of butter and olive oil I should say now you just want to cook the onion gently softly softly catchy monkey do not have too high a heat so we can turn this right down and you don't want to burn the onion you just want to have it go soft and translucent and see through so you just want to cook it very gently for maybe about 10 minutes do not have it too high a heat. It's the biggest mistake you can make and burn the onion. So nice and low heat and just let it cook away for about 10 minutes. So the onion has been cooking for about five or 10 minutes. So now we're going to add the rice. Just sprinkle it in. All measurements will be on the recipe on my blog. There you go, that will do. Stir that around. Just to get the rice coated in the oil. You, again, you don't want to burn the rice. So you're just coating it in the butter and the oil. Lovely. Now at this point we add a glass of white wine. Put it all in. Turn the heat up a little bit just to get the rice to a simmering point. And now you just want to cook that until the, the wine has evaporated. Smells great. Now the wine has pretty much evaporated. So we're going to add the blueberries. Da da da. There we go. These are lovely blueberries. That should do. We save a few for the topping at the end. So stir the blueberries around. This should give a really, really amazing colour. I can't wait to see the colour. Let's hope so anyway. And now. We just add the stock. That would do for now. And we just bring the stock up to a simmering point. And then we just let it simmer for 10 or 15 minutes until the rice is cooked. And in between times we can go off and do something a bit more interesting instead. But just keep half an eye on the risotto just to make sure that your stock hasn't evaporated um, before the rice is too cooked. So again, don't have it on too high a heat and just keep half an eye on it. You give it the odd stir now and again, just to make sure that there's still some stock. And if it looks like it's running low on stock um, before the rice is cooked, then just add a bit more stock or even just a bit more water. Look at that, that does look amazing already. We're just going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes now and then have another look. 
So, this has been cooking for 15-20 minutes. <clears throat> I added a bit more stock halfway through, gave it a bit of a stir, mashed up some of the blueberries. And now look at that, look at that amazing colour, isn't that fantastic? So the rice is pretty much cooked. What we need to do now is take it off the heat. The rice will still continue to cook even though it's off the heat. We're then going to stir through a little bit of cream. Look at that. We're going to add some parmesan. So this is pretty much an authentic risotto style dish. More of a risotto than a paella of course. The only difference that we've done really is we haven't stirred it as much as you would stir a normal risotto because we've got more interesting things to do. Now parmesan is a little bit salty so that adds to the seasoning. So let's stir that through. Doesn't that look amazing? Wow. Incredible. Yeah, well you serve this up to your family, you serve this up at a dinner party and everybody will be wow. This really has a wow factor, this dish. Okay. So the next thing we do is plate up. So here we have the finished dish. Looks absolutely amazing. Just want to finish it off with a few fresh blueberries just on the top. Bang, bang, bang. And now let's taste it. That is fantastic. There's the real zingy zestiness of the blueberries coming through, the creaminess of the risotto, and this looks and tastes fantastic. So, just to recap, we have uh, a chopped onion in the pan with butter and olive oil. You cook that for five or ten minutes until it's soft and translucent. Then add the rice, stir that through until it takes up some of the butter and olive oil. Add the blueberries, add the stock. You cook it for about 15-20 minutes. Maybe top up the stock halfway through. And then final flourish is we add the parmesan, we add some cream, and top with some more fresh blueberries. Why don't you cook this tonight? <laughs>